Have you ever wondered how new climbing areas get discovered? Today, we're going to try to find a new crag. Jim and I are going on a hike and we're going to be looking at some cliffs that I've had my eye on for four or five years, but haven't been inspired until now to come check out. I have been inspired in the last five minutes after seeing him on the drive up. The area that we're hiking through got burned over by the Caldor fire and it got hot enough to crack off some of this granite, spall it off. The Caldor fire has done a great job of clearing out all the bushes. Would you look at this? Super featured granite slab, cool little easy, maybe five, six, five, seven trad line in the middle there that'll clean up nicely. Man, just a gorgeous view. I've seen a nice little uh, wrist jam kind of little ladder. Going straight up there. In addition to the cool, easy climbing here, there's this awesome base here to hang out at. And there's uh, some potential for some easy top rope routes here. Over on the right side of that slab, there's some steeper stuff. There might be some potential for some 510 easy sport lines up in here. There's another pretty cool trad line that'll definitely go. Kind of hiking across the middle section, we found a lot of uh, potential lines, very worth doing. And then there's this awesome off-wit splitter that's probably about 70 feet tall. And there may be something cool, maybe a sport climb along that arete. Gorgeous. This is a solid 200 feet of all sorts of features. Probably most of it will be easy sport, but there's definitely potential for some very cool trad lines and it just keeps going. You might be wondering if there's so much climbing potential here, uh, why nobody's climbed here before. Uh, and I'm not sure that this is unclimbed, but we didn't see any evidence of climbing. This area isn't online or in any of the guidebooks. And in my word of mouth network, I've never heard of anybody climbing here. From afar, it doesn't look very impressive. And there definitely are a lot of uh, less than steep sections here. There is a lot of, uh, well, moderate climbing and uh, steep cracks and face climbs hidden in amongst all the slab. It is close to some very classic areas that have been climbed at for decades. Um, I'm sure climbers have wandered up here to look at this. It seems they didn't feel like it was worth developing. Um, I feel it's wor like, worth developing. Um, tell me what you guys think. So we spent the last uh, two hours hiking around here. Uh, we've seen a lot of potential for new climbing. Um, before I invest a lot of time and energy into developing climbing, I ask myself some questions, most of which revolve around hey, will this stuff get climbed if I invest all of the effort into uh, developing this? That comes down to access, which is kind of multifaceted. Some of that is, is it legal to climb here? And in this case, yes, this is on public land and within a 15 mile radius of this spot, there is a tremendous amount of climbing um, that has been going on for over 60 years. The other part is how easy is it to get here? And surprisingly pretty easy. There's a, a gravel road that any two-wheel drive would have no problem with. There's a large parking lot um, that's about half a mile from here. If we put in all of the effort, um, are people going to come out here? Is the climbing good enough to draw people out here? And from what I've seen today, I really think so. Like there's at least 75 pitches of climbing on really solid granite, granitic rock um, and it's in ranges that people climb. Like I saw a 5.4 trad climb and I saw some like 5.11 sport climbs and there's a lot in between there. The other thing is season, like when is it good to climb here? So we're here uh, mid-morning and the sun is going to go behind the cliffs in about an hour or two, and then it will be in shade the rest of the day. So as far as climbing in the summer, this is pretty reasonable if it's in the shade and it's at about 6,000 feet here in the Sierra Nevada. So some of you have probably been noticing that a lot of these routes, potential routes look pretty dirty, and yes, they do. And so 
that's the other component. Uh, will this get enough traffic to stay clean after we uh, spend the time brushing the moss off? And I believe it will. There's population centers uh, down the hill, Sacramento's not far, uh, San Francisco Bay Area is a couple of hours further. Uh, so uh, I see this uh, becoming a pretty popular little crag. Uh, we will see. If you'd like to get involved, um, I have way more route development than I can do in the rest of my life if I did nothing else. Feel free to reach out to me. I'm not all that hard to find on the social medias. There's always moss to scrub. I had a lot of fun. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed joining us. We'll see you next time.